okay good day guys you're welcome again to my channel and this is joshua the designer i like that you use the subscribe button you like this video and you share with your friends that should get better with structural engineering and today i am here with an amazing content and what am i here to do today i want to show you how to generate your design reports for all your structural elements after that you might have run your designs and you need to get the report and i'm going to show that to you in a few minutes and you get that added to your knowledge again today okay so and i'll show you this is the job that we want to generate all of its reports i am done with the designs of this work i am done with the modeling everything i am done with it so i want to generate the design report and seeing well that this um structure is a raft is on a raft foundation is on a raft foundation so i need to generate the report for all the elements so now on your own end i assume that you have a project that you are done with so you want to generate the reports okay so when as soon as you uh at that point then you click design and when you are designed you you may have to start with your columns if you will when, when you click your columns then you see that the design status of all these columns is that they all passed so my structural elements which which is the column one of the structural elements which is the column passed in all of his analysis and designs okay so i want to generate a report for all of my columns so now you see report here so seeing report here you can click on design report so design report so having clicked on design report you might have to include all load combination in the report you can include interaction diagram in the report now you can display all the combinations in the interaction diagram then you can include sections also if you may then you might have to put the design report title as you want so you may just put any names columns columns reports okay so then you press ok then having pressed your ok you have to wait till the design report is is done now but in any case i am generating the report for the whole of the columns in my structure but you might not want to do that you might just want to generate the call um, the the report of the critical columns in your job right so and that will reduce the number of pages that you are going to print out as a report for your columns alone okay so i just did this to show you how you can go about it so if you don't want to generate all of your designs as i have done mine here you know, what you just do is that you select the columns that you want to generate the report then you generate so i'll show you that also so that we can um, move forward so once the thing is done it pops up another screen another um screen for us so we see our report and what it looks like so you have to wait as it tells you to so please wait so in case you've not been over our videos on this channel i'd advise that you go back and um, you have a lot of videos to get better you have a lot of videos to become better with structural engineering right from out step-by-step -step guide to product structure for beginners to how to make different foundations to how to detail slabs and how to analyze how to edit materials and all of that so you can do well to visit our other videos we have videos that can get you better and once you do that you have to get better so ensure again that you like our videos you subscribe to the channel then you do well by sharing to your friends that you should get better with structural engineering so now we're waiting for our report as it tells us to please wait and i hope it doesn't take long so because we have about 146 pages in preparation so i think um, our column report is ready so let's wait a little till it pops up okay so we have our column 
reinforcement design report here with interaction diagrams and with the loading combinations applied in all of these so this is how it looks like now you will discover that at the top of this place we have pdf and we have office so you might have you might prefer to have your report presented as a pdf document so when you click the pdf document it gives you allowance of saving your document as pdf but if not if you prefer to have it in your office format in the word format you click that also it gives you an opportunity to select whether you want to save as a 27 file or 23 file so either of the two by the time you click it makes you save as a docs file okay so and that's how to generate a column report then i said i was going to show you if you don't want to print all of them can you see this print mark this print mark is on all of these and that was why i had 146 pages printed so if i don't want to print all what i do is i'll just first remove my print marks by the time i remove my pick print marks and i want to only print maybe four columns which is column one column two column three column four for example so having selected it for them then i'll click design report so i do all of these if i need to then i press ok now you see that this will be much faster than the other one did you see because of the volume so we have this already for the columns selected okay so that's how to do about that and you have that so straight i'll show you how to do for beams now the next one i'll show you for story beams so you click your story beams and you see that we have a whole lot of story beams here so but if you want to just print the selected ones to prevent um, unnecessary volume of um, result being printed you can just um, you know this is print marks then you can remove print marks so removing print marks can allow you now select the desired one for reports for having the report so i can just pick about four of them four critical ones or the ones i feel i should so when i do that and i i can come and what and have my design design report now if you don't still understand what i'm doing use the comment section and i'll show it to you so i can use my design report here so this one told me that it's possible for me to print beam loads print share force diagram moment diagram and split table so okay so then i select okay and let's see how it looks like so this is my beam reinforcement design report so you see i have my beams and the loadings the bending moment and shear force i have the moment the flange top edge the area of steel the stiffness all of these i have my reinforcement i have the link spacing all of that those details are here in the report so i'm always i'm also choose to save as a pdf file or i choose to save as a word format okay so any which way you can do that and that's how to generate for story beams now i can do that also for my raft beam and um, foundation beam so if it's a raft you click foundation beams so having that foundation beams all have been selected and the same way you remove the print marks then select few ones that you weren't then you click on design report then okay so you wait for the report and um you have it so this is what we have now for my so you can also save as a pdf or save in the word format so that's exactly how to go about it so um i think i need to show you how to go about that of a pad foundation also okay let me show you for slab before i show you for a pad foundation so if i want to create a report for my slab reinforcement details or design so i'll click on slabs here so clicking on slab here we right click then you see slab analysis and design so having my slab analysis and design i can now select check designs do not modify existing steel if i'm so sure that my existing steels are fine enough or if you're not sure and you want to redesign you can press check designs then you will select insufficient steel but or if you want to design everything afresh you click delete 
and reselect all steel bars. So I want to use this. So I click design. So clicking that means that it will show me all the condition of my slab. So this will tell you whether it is sufficient or not sufficient at deflection and reinforcement at whatever it is. So it tells you whether it's sufficient or not or whether it passed or fail. So this is how to have your slab design report. Also, then you can use a PDF or you use a word. Okay, so that's how to go about the slab design report. So let me just find a particular job to show you how to go about um, the part foundation report and um, I'll wrap it up just at that point. Okay, so I'll have to close this job. Then I'll need to open another one for us to, to see. Okay, so if you do not get anything or something, as I've said in this particular video, do not hesitate to use the comment section and I'll be right there to give you all that you need. Yes. So also do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Tell it to your friend, tell it to your colleague. This is a way you encourage us to get better and to keep giving you amazing content like we like to do. Okay, so let me just have to select one folder, one file, then I'll show you how to generate your design report for a pad foundation so and that wouldn't take time then we we'll wrap up for today and we'll meet in the next video okay the project is loading so let's give it a little time so in case you are curious and um, you really want to learn so much can you just visit uh other videos on the channel and you get equipped now if i want to generate these are pad footings pad footings so I'll, if i will need to generate um the report for any category of this pad footing so i can select it as i've done here then i can right click i can right click so when i right click um you see properties so by the time you see properties now now do you see this is what we have and the design status says that it has passed right so the design status is that it has passed now and you can do a check to all others if you need to now when you come here pie cap and pad bases then you right click and you click on print pad and pile base results so doing that you can also select which one in particular do you need or do you want to print the report for everything right did you see this is for everything but if not just print for selected few then you generate a report so you wait till we have the output so this is how we go about generating reports for our elements and um, you also can lay your hands on these things easily and that you have the report yes okay so that will be all for this tutorial so you can do that for whatever category so there are several ways you can print individual reports here you can print from here then you may want to print from here also print part 14 results selected yes yeah, so so that is exactly how to go about it 
if you have questions around this subject you can do well to um let me know in the comment section and i would have attempt to you thank you for hanging around i am joshua the designer see you next time bye